In a lot of cases, when the bile is not flowing and you're not neutralizing the acids that are leaving the stomach, then sometimes that'll cause it to move through the system too quickly. And there's processes that take place when the food is moving through the digestive tract, you know, in the small intestine and even in through the large intestine. There's like gut flora in there in that large intestine that helps us break things down further and helps us access nutrients and all these kind of beneficial things. But when things are moving through too fast, then that full digestive process doesn't really happen. And you're more likely to see undigested food in your stool when stool is leaning on the loose and fast side. It's also really common for someone to have some type of gut infection. And this could be an infection that's taking place in the stomach where bacteria should not be. Or it could be an infection in the small intestine. You know, all the cool kids have SIBO now, which is small intestinal bacterial overgrowth. And when there's bacteria in these places where it shouldn't be, a lot of times these bad bacteria have a waste product that is alkaline. So they could be in the stomach and putting out this waste that's alkalizing the stomach further and even further restricting your ability to acidify that food so that it can be broken down and you get the nutrients out of that food. If there's a bacterial overgrowth in the small intestine, that can also restrict your ability to access all the nutrients in that food and, and break it down properly. So these infections are really common. And when there is an infection, it is also very common for the beneficial bacteria to not be thriving in the large intestine because it's like it's a bad town. All these bad kids are in there and they, they, it doesn't allow the good kids to thrive and help us really get the most out of our food and, and fully break that food down. So you can see that there's a lot of trouble that can come when you're seeing undigested food in your stool. That's a sign that things aren't working correctly. And when that's the case, not only can you create a lot of other digestive symptoms like burping or bloating or acid reflux or constipation or diarrhea or even skin or acne type issues. You know, all of those things can come about when you're not digesting your food correctly, but it has the ability to create a lot of other problems when you're not accessing the nutrients in your food that the body needs for the body to be able to function correctly. But you can also see that we kind of went through a variety of issues that could create this problem. So when there's a variety of things that can create a problem, there's not going to be one solution. I know that you want me to just tell you, I ah, just do this and you're going to fix it. But there's just not one solution for this problem because the underlying cause is going to vary from person to person. Now, I will say that it is very common to see low stomach acid when we're seeing undigested food in the stool because either the acid is not there to really break down down the food properly or that acid is not triggering these other functions to take place as well. So most people with this issue are probably going to end up needing to try to take steps to acidify the stomach. You know, some people will use apple cider vinegar and some people will use patain HCL. So which steps are really going to be appropriate for you can depend on which things are not working correctly, which things are malfunctioning. 